digitalization plays a key role in any agricultural sector. I mean, I can sit here and basically ask you, is it recording? Is it on? Are you sure? Where with new technologies like Greenforce Connect, it makes it more feasible. You don't have to send a farm in to a pump station to go check and you on the other side phone back and forth to determine whether or not the pumps are running and in what condition they are running. A lot of times someone will reach a pump station and then basically see the pump is running but the water is not being delivered at the other end. But with new digital technologies you can monitor and get instant feedback on your pumping operations which makes it more feasible because a lot of customers or a lot of farmers travel kilometers to 100 kilometers per day just to have a look at their pumping installations and to see that the pumps are actually functioning and in some cases are still there. And with digital technologies it makes it a lot more applicable and easy to use because you can be basically anywhere in the world and get instant access to your pumping inst installations and view trends and feedback instantaneously on how your system is performing. In the agricultural landscape a lot of new technologies are available. You have new smart controllers which gives you more information feedback on your pumping installation. We do continuous improvement on the efficiency of our pumping systems as well. So we've just recently launched the new SP18 which is the upgrade on the traditional SP17 and that improves the efficiency of the pump itself and by improving the efficiency of the pump itself you get more water per rands and cents of, of liters in an electrical bill that you actually paid on the installation. On the controller side you get more sensors that you can connect to your pumping system which means you can log more data and by logging more data you get more information feedback. We use this in a sense to call, let's call it preventative maintenance. So if you're actually logging the data and you get a failure the technician assessing the pumping unit actually has real-time data to look at and more fine-tune the actual root cause of a failure should a failure happen. Digitally, we continuously developing new products. So this year at Nampu, we introduced the new CO202, which is uh, a controller used on a very well-known pump in the market called the SQ Flex. This controller gives not only more networking accessibility, being that you can connect to it via Wi-Fi, and connect it to Greenforce Connect and get real-time data on your pumping installation and also in a, in a sense have control on your installation because that being an off-grid pump is usually installed in very far off locations. So it brings you in a certain state closer to your pumping installation. It's also a lot more user-friendly where you can connect it via Bluetooth and get real-time data while being on-site next to the pumping installation. You also use this application to configure the unit. For instance, you might want to input some additional sensors that you want to monitor. Maybe it's just for the pump to stop when your tank is full, or the reservoir, or the dam. But in that sense, you get more and more functionality. And in the same way, we are continuously developing our products from our variable speed drives to our motors to our pumping systems. We're continuously utilizing new technology and bringing it into our product scope portfolio. Nampo this year, we focused on our renewable product offerings. So that being from the SQ Flex pumps to the SP Solar to the RSI inverters for the vast majority of the market. Everybody knows the general power condition in the country at the current time and it's important to notify and showcase these products to farmers to know that there is alternative options to using normal grid supply for the pumping applications. And solar is a viable option for transferring water and filling the dams etc. And all the electrical costs is for free because you're utilizing the power of the sun.